Hey, what's up, guys? It's Clemson McGintis, and it's the end of week two of P90X. Uh, well, technically tomorrow is, because that's when I do Kempo, but it's the end of the weight training, which is what I wanted to talk about. Finally got some heavier weights, and so I'm actually feeling the burn um, more so than I was last week, because last week I had light weights, and uh, I was just doing more reps, because that's all I could do. Uh, that's all the weights I had. But I can definitely see that this is going to get very expensive very quickly, uh, because every week or two I'm going to have to increase my weights because um, I'm getting stronger. And so by the end of this thing, I'm going to have a whole full set of weights that are all mismatched. I definitely am going to need some heavier weights because some exercises I'm like, this is too light. And other exercises I'm like, this is too heavy. And I, you know, I can downgrade now because I've got succession weights uh, up every five pounds, but um, I'm going to have to keep going up. But yeah, I'm definitely doing more reps like in the ab workouts and the uh, pull-ups and, and chin-ups. Uh, I'm doing more reps so I know... I'm getting stronger, um, so that's a good thing, right? I'm still struggling with the nutrition stuff, though. Uh, you know, the wife packs my lunch, and she's like, okay, you need to do one of these, two of these, and you'd be good. And, you know, I try to fill in the gaps the best I can, but I'm not always hitting my calories, and, I, and I'm not always hitting my portions, I know. Like, then, like, days like today where I went out to lunch with my boss and a few peers, you know, I went and we got sushi, so I know it's healthy, but I'm not sure how many portions of protein were in there. How many portions, if a portion, full pro, portion of vegetables were in there, um, and how many portions of carbs they ate, because I know it was more than one. There's a whole lot of rice wrapped on those rolls. A lot of people have asked me what exactly the P90X is, what it's all about, and so uh, this weekend I'll open up the box and I'll show you guys what's exactly inside there and what to expect and how it all works uh, for those who are wondering. So, um, you know, look for that. I work, uh, I work. Uh, a what's considered a mid shift, 3 p.m. to midnight is my shift because uh, my department is 24 hours a day, 24/7. So I I'm the mid shift mid shift supervisor, um, but there are days where um, I I have to work uh, like an eight to five or seven to four because of meetings, conference calls, and stuff like that. Um, and so days like that where I basically get up and I go to, I go straight to work. I do my workouts when I get home. Um, a lot more difficult. A lot more difficult. You know, you've worked your 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 day you, you know you go into work and then you come home and it's kind of like just oh, you know you don't, you don't really want to do anything uh, I definitely find out I find working out in the mornings are are much more effective um, you haven't you, you know you just woke up so you kind of got some energy and you know you do a protein shake and you do some egg whites and um, then you do your workout and then you're good for the day maybe that's something to keep in mind if you're you know you traditionally work out after work or at the end of your day, and that's why maybe you find it hard to find the energy to do it, try switching it to the beginning of the day. Um, it might make a difference, and I know it does for me. Be sure to subscribe if uh, you know for further updates. I plan on making these videos at the end of every week, uh, and then, of course, a, a recap video of the end of each phase, which is every 30 days. Uh, we'll you know, talk about the, the nutrition plan, and it is freaking hot in here. Uh, it's, that, it's that time of year where... It gets up like in the 90s during the day, but then at night it cools down to like the high 60s, mid 60s. So like it's 10 p.m. right now, and so it's that time of night where it's just starting to, to cool off. And so I kind of want to open the windows and let the breeze come in, but I'm kind of like, is that really a breeze or is that my cold air going outside? I can't tell. But in any case, I'm hot and uh, I'm sweating.